everybody and welcome to the stream hope you guys are doing well and welcome if you guys are having a good time and uh welcome man so we are getting ready for a new playthrough uh so today we are gonna go ahead uh we're gonna check out uh, mother three definitely one of my favorites uh definitely a game i really enjoyed and uh if you've been around the channel for a while you'll actually ref uh recognize some of the references uh that we do here on the channel so Hope you guys enjoy it. Hello, Pike. How are you? Welcome. Good to see you. Always good to see you, man. And if there's anybody else lurking, uh, welcome to the stream, everybody. Let me, uh, if you give me just a minute, let me kind of get everything connected. And we'll go ahead and get started here today. Let's get my lighting set up here. Okay, now let me uh, get the chat up and running. And uh, we will go ahead and get started here. Actually, you know what I need? I need my water. So uh, give me a second, I'll be right back. Uh, I was gonna get a quick drink here. Uh, doing good, celebrate your birthday. Oh, well happy birthday, man. Uh, give me a second, I'll be right back. Come on, Reggie. We want Mother 3. We want Mother 3. Well, I'll show you what he won't show you. <laughs> hey, guy. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, but yeah, so uh, as is as a tradition with the channel, uh, basically, uh, when we go through the uh, the character setup, I will take um, character names in that. So if there is anybody that does want to be part of the uh, the playthrough and that want to get a character named after you, um, just let me know. 
Um, and I will see if I can get you in the game. So I definitely, I definitely open that up to anybody who's here. Okay. Gonna get started here. Okay, all right. The younger twin brother. Um, I think that's me. So let me go. Uh, let me get in there. Okay, my older brother. Alright, does anybody want to be my older brother? <laughs> Let's see defaults. What are the default names in here? Just curious. Uh, so this would be Klaus. I think we get like five or six characters. Get Flint, who's gonna be my dad. So we got our dad. Uh, we've got the doggo. Uh, we got Duster, who's uh, one of our adult friends. Um, I think he comes in later. Uh, Kumatora, Tomboy's girl. Salsa. That's the monkey. Those are the ones early on. I uh, know we can name those. Take some of the people that are usually here that I remember here on a common basis. So, older twin brother. I will go, we'll go with Kyle uh, for my older brother. my dad. Anybody want to be daddy? <laughs> Kyle's in, yeah. Anybody want to be the papa? I'll be your daddy. Okay, right, bye. This sounds so wrong. Alright. 
All right, Mama. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to think for a second here. I know we've got, um, cause I know we're gonna pick up a, um, we're gonna pick up a couple of characters along the way. So I won't actually be naming everybody right now. Uh, so we're gonna get a uh, Tom Boyish girl later on. And then, uh, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get a, basically a thief. Uh, we're gonna get a thief later. Then we get our doggo. We'll do this. Um, let me put. I'm gonna put Baba in, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna save her for a little bit later. I've got another character I want to save for Baba. So I will put in. Let me put. I'm gonna put Ball in as as, as my mama. I've got something to say for Baba later. All right, so now we gotta pick a doggo. <laughs> Mama Ballin is all in. I don't think the doggo plays too long in the game. I think he's one of those characters that is like in early and then does a little of work and then he's out. You want in guy? You wanna you wanna be the doggo? for now. <laughs> woof woof. Alright, we'll make guy uh, the doggo. Alright, what is my favorite homemade food? Let's see what they don't care to say. Omelets, pasta. I do like pasta. <laughs> uh, gratin, uh, donuts, <laughs> stew, gelatin. That's interesting. Rice, and that's what cycles through as far as favorite foods. Yeah, 
I'll go with some pasta. I do like pasta. Omelette rice. <laughs> Alright, what is your favorite thing? What do they give you the options? <laughs> hey, Bab, how are ya? Love. Home runs. Mock. <laughs> Top spec. Mount Fuji. Camera. Watering. Actually, I just picked up a couple of new Lego sets. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna probably be doing some more Lego strings in, in, in the future anyway. So let's go ahead. Let's let's throw out some Legos. Let's talk seeing you in Lego. trying to decide between mint and I think banana is not too bad either. That's supposed to be great. <laughs> Why is... Well, I guess you could be... Well, different color. I was thinking more of a purple grape or something. Though. So Flapper, Kyle, Pike, Mullen, and Guy. That's all I was saying. Yeah, I was trying to decide between the two. Alright, yeah, I think that looks good. Alright, let's get it going. Start the adventure. Welcome to the world of Mother 3. The Flapper family. Rock out. Great music. The Nowhere Islands. Tasmalee Village. Beyond the Sunshine Forest. Oh, 
Come of Alec, Balan's father. Shh, I'm sleeping. Don't wake me. Oh, that rude Kyle. Trying to wake me up. Flapper! Flapper! How long are you gonna sleep? Get up so we can play! Get up already! The Dragos brought their babies over! They're really cute! Hurry up! Let me sleep! I'm sleeping! A real wood burning stove. The same bed head as always. <laughs> Hiya, Mom. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Flapper. Kyle's been up for a while playing with the Dragos. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. No. No, Mama. Then you can stay inside in your pajamas for the rest of your life. Alright, fine, Mama. I am a defiant one. Can't, uh, can't keep me down. Looking handsome. You're much manlier now. Go have fun. Alright, let's go outside. Ah, uh, look at the chickens. Ba ba ba! Cluck, cluck. You're awake, cluck. <laughs> I like how they run away. Get back here, I want to talk with you. You late riser. Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you head back home. Oh, I don't want to go home. I want to party. I'm gonna miss you guys. Moo! All cows, no matter what they're thinking, go moo. It'd be handy to remember that. Point, 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 point. What the pig next to me says worries me. Don't worry about it. A story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories and in turn become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. That is what people refer to as saving. Now then, save your game? Sure. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Cluck, cluck. Riveting dialogue, give that chicken the Academy Award. 
He's a, such a talker. Uh oh. We found that evil Kyle. Such a troublemaker. Yes. Woo! I'm beat. I've been uh, play fighting with the Dragos all morning. You should play too, Flapper. No. Come on, just give it a try. The Dragos are waiting. Kyle! Flapper still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. Yeah, go easy on me. Flapper! Try to imagine a thing called a B button. Never heard of it. Then hold that button for a second, then let go. Doing this will let you dash. And by using this dash ability, you can ram into that Drago there. Cal, show him an example. How absurd, I mean. I mean, what? Woof, woof. Yes, just like that. Now it's your turn, Flapper. Give it a try. Hey, Eagle. I heard someone say Club Titty Boo. I mean, lurk, lurk. You'll never succeed with a uh, sullen look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. Oh, now I feel bad. This Drago baby was born just recently. Ah, oh, such a cute baby. This Drago is friendlier than it appears. So much fun here. Guess I gotta keep going, huh? You're a weakling now, but I just know that someday you'll be stronger than anyone else. <laughs> the harder you run into them, the more the dragons like it. Move it! Ah, uh, the mole cricket. Move it out of the way! Make your way for the great mole cricket! Squash that bug! I can't sit idly by when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you! Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain! You encountered, uh, encountered the mole cricket. Save 
thing will hit there. <laughs> it's weird in all the right ways, I know, right? So the thing with this game, and I, I still have to get used to it, but I, it's basically uh, you, you attack based on rhythm. So I've got to use that music to uh, to try to attack so I can get my multi hits in. So that's the, that's the key thing with this game. You got to attack with rhythm. Flapper and company earn two XP points. You win. Woof woof. Squash that bug. I see you have more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, I could train you personally sometime. Next time we meet, it'll be at the Big Mole Cricket Hole Stadium. I look forward to seeing you there, bro. Who you calling, bro? Uh oh, it's Mama. I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's all right. Lunch is ready, everyone! I made your favorite, boys! Pasta! I can go for some pasta. Ooh, lunch! Lunch, pasta! You too, Dad! <laughs> now then! Listen, folks, here's how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Who knows, you might turn into a prince. Uh, plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. All that fourth wall breakage. Hey, wait for me! You saved me some pasta too, I hope. What's your favorite food, Mom? Oh, pasta? Then your favorite is the same as ours? What a coincidence! We make a good match. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids could make it there on their own. It's that safe. That's like 16 walls. I bet you can handle it, Flapper. <laughs> Dear Pike, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Kyle is daring and full of energy as ever, while Flapper is still a bit uh, coddled, but neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmili Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. Next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come here as a family. Kyle Flapper and I were thinking of you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite pasta right away. With love, your dearest ballin'.
UFOs, that's not ordinary, that's, an, uh, that's not strange at all. <laughs> dun dun dun, Mother 3. Woof woof. Not very nice. Is that how the California fire started? <laughs> yep, yeah, Porky, or in this case, the pygmies. Uh, pig mask, I think. Uh, chapter one, Night of the Funeral. Pike, Pike, Pike! It's a fire, fire, fire! The Sunshine Forest is on fire in a huge fiery, flamey fire. Pike now. You gotta do something quick! Pike! It's the forest! The forest! The forest! The forest is on fire! I think the guy wants my attention. Jeez! Who would lock down? Uh, who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Pike. Ah. The doorknob. Why'd you have to come off at a time like this? Get it, guy. I need that doorknob back. <laughs> Ah, doorknob! I mean, Pike! This is no time to be dozing off. There's a huge fire in the Sunshine Forest. Guy's like, I'm going back to sleep. Go away. <laughs> Bad times like this call for reckless, nice guys like you. Please come, Pike! Please! No. Go away. Then I'll just have to drag you there myself. Oh, darn. Thomas, join your party. Whether you want to or not. I'll follow behind you. What? What's wrong with that? I happen to like following people behind, uh, behind people. Come on, come on, guy, you come with me? He's hiding something in the doghouse. What you got, boy? What you got? Pike got a stick. Hey, Pike. 
That stick should make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first though. Just holding on to it will make it as useful as a caramel. Alright, equip. Give me a stick! <laughs> Plus two offense. Any... Oh. Okay. Yeah. Alright. And you're gonna get nothing. <laughs> Sheep. The sheep are milling about restlessly. Meh. Meh. Right. Second chance. Last chance, guy. Come on. Blind. It's really noisy out. You're supposed to be quiet at night. I'm a good dog, so I'm being quiet. Alright, be that way. Side north of here is pitch black with smoke. If the forest catches on fire, Kyle of and Flapper and Ballin will be stuck out there. Hey, Pike! The the, the sunshine forest is on fire. Oh, um, uh, should I maybe give you a hand too? Sure. Ah, wait, wait. Um, uh, I'm actually pretty busy, you know? No, I mean, um, you know how it is. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I'll leave everything to you today, okay, Pike? You slacker. Get out of here. Alright. We got the goods. Open up! Shine Sorest is on tire. How much you had to drink? <laughs> Let's go to Arby's. We'll call it a day. I know, right? Mr. Pike, you should probably take whatever Thomas says with a grain of salt. That's just the kind of person he is. They're saying the Sunshine Forest is on fire. That's true, we better get our butts out of here before the fire engulfs our village too. Thomas, what are you running around like, acting like a siren for? Honestly now, you better not cause too much trouble for Pike. If you need something from the map loving and map, lo uh, map owning, owning maps in, 
It must be a map, yes? Feel free to take one with you! Map pipe! You're worried about a lighter shack deep inside the Sunshine Forest, yes? I've marked that area on the map for you. Awesome. Please hurry and see if he needs help. Ooh, whoops, silly me. Forgot to tell you how to check the map, didn't I? To check the map, you need to... How do I put this? Fill your right index finger with a wish. Or strength. Or to put it more bluntly, I guess something to do with that R button-ish. Just heard there was a <coughs> fire has me uh, coughing uncontrollably. I'm ultra sensitive to things, you know. By the way, if you prefer to run instead of uh, walk, I recommend the dash ability. Fire is in that way. No tending stage. Right? Okay, so they don't want you to go that way yet. <laughs> uh, game has good me. Yeah, definitely. Can't go that way either. All right. Okay. All right, we'll go through here. Another frog. Save your game? Sure. Pike! The Sunshine Forest, which is to the west of the crossroad uh, road and past the Prairie Sanctuary, is apparently on fire like crazy! Oh, sorry, that sounded so explanation-like. Alright, so where's the sanctuary? Okay. Okay, so let's go west. That guy is a little tall! <laughs> like that artwork, though. You're the one ringing that bell. Hey, later. Can you see the fire from there? Hey, I said. I see he's as non talkative as ever. Chirp, 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 chirp. Feels a lot of bad. I'm going to use game lingo rather than comparisons. You can bring up the menu by pressing start. Alright, so you get the clips out of sleep. Even if I go on ahead, I just know I'd be no help at all. What should I do? <laughs> Slenderman's cousin, right? <laughs> okay. Alright, so I think this is the sanctuary. Kinda looks like a uh, some legendary Pokemon up there. Uh, may the forest and the people and the animals and I and, and I all have happiness. Oh, Pike, good to see you here. I think it's only proper to offer a prayer here before going into the forest. Pleasure. 
Please answer with a call mine. Please tell me your name. Yes, the name of the person playing this game. That would be Flapper, of course. Understood. Flapper. Your name is Flapper, right? Yes. Okay then, please continue to enjoy the game. After a countdown from three, you will forget you were ever asked this question. Have you forgot? Forgot what? Good. I think Avenger here. I think Lighter and Fuel are stuck inside the forest. Don't worry, I'll hold back these rubberneckers. You just hurry and find them. The forest is burning like crazy, but there's time to pray? Absolutely. There's no rush. Oh, it's you, uh, Pike. I thought I saw someone as manly as me walking this way. This smoke is terrible, and with my sensitive throat, I can't continue any further. So you can have this cookie! Let this slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie be of use. As long as uh, the dang ravens don't steal it. I got a nut cookie! Okay, so I gotta also remember there's gonna be back attacks in this game, so I gotta I gotta remember to try to do some back attacks. Mr. Batty blocked the way. I'm trying to listen to the music here. It's gonna be hard to hear it. Oh boy. Alright. XP points. We're on the board. Okay, now I know there's gonna be a um, Batman. <laughs> so I just like the Batman music there. Da -da 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 -da, Batman. Maybe it's on purpose because it's Mr. Batty. Alright. Uh, good. Oh, I got brute force too. So, yeah, yeah, I know. That's what it sounded like. I got brute force. I gotta, I gotta remember what brute force does. Let me look that up. System.
Supply setup. Hmm. Give it time to control. either. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. So they call it Bash. Yeah, Bash Goods. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's supposed to be the PSI, our special abilities. Because we don't have any, they just call it brute force. Let's see what it does if I do brute force. Oh, okay, so they don't have to so. Swing up, strengthen up, power smash. Yeah, power smash, right? Got two hits. You win. You thought you were the only one that heard the music? I know, right? I want more of that music. <laughs> hey, say frog. Where can Isaac be? A dang Isaac. Aries bracelet. Ooh. So, put that on. There it is. So that would be okay. All right. So that'll be an accessory. Other defense is always good. Here it should be the save. Uh, yep. So here's the heal pond. Ah. Relaxing in the hot spring made everyone in Pike's party feel alive again. All right. So we got full health. Next level is 60 points. So you could probably do a. Uh, probably get another. I might try. Maybe we should try to get like one level in or something. So we got access to a, uh, a heal spot there. Batman! I wish they would repeat that first part. It goes away after the fight starts. Breathe in too much smoke. Lighter and his son fuel aren't back yet. Pretty sure they're stuck in the forest. Don't worry about me, help them. There's the goal up there. Dun, dun, dun. Am 
Metal box like object is lying here. Can't go through that. Okay, that was an enemy. You snuck up on a yeah, monster from behind. Free shot. You win. 26, nice. And he left me a present. Nut bread. Thank you. Ah, that was not a sneak attack. So if something happens to the shrimp, just kind of hang tight. Uh, it's raining pretty hard right outside right now. never seen a bug like this before. Later! I need some fuel. <laughs> hey! Later! You alright? Pike. Oh, and Thomas. <coughs> I try to beat these things up. But more just keep coming. I can't get past them. <coughs> that was a considerate aliens upset smoking the bear, they did. What is that thing? A bug? <coughs> no no. They're going around the forest lighting fires. 
But never mind that. Fuel's still at home. What? Fuel's still in the shack. Pike, you go help fuel. I'll look after lighter. Oh no, I'm surrounded. <laughs> Alright, Firefly and its cohorts. It's a triple. Kinda tempted to use one of these moves. out for now. You win! 51 XP points! And they left me a present! Nut bread. Alright. Probably use some of that bread. So these are for 30. The cookie is worth 15. I really recommend you save. Oh, it's the save frog. Nice. I like that. They put the save frog in the bucket of water. Probably uh, bust him by ramming it. All right. <laughs> A flying mouse suddenly attacked. Got him. 
You win. 45 XP points. Yay, level up. Fallen support beam is blocking the way. Can I ram it? Yep, you can. Nice. I like that effect, though. Nice little touch. You can actually use the ramming. Your writing scale to actually do things. You expect him to be... Oh, yeah, the, the Pike character. Yeah, it's kind of strange to your main character's... Especially at the beginning of the game, your main character is actually not playing for a, for a little while. <laughs> kind of cool to check out the rest of the family though before you. Obviously, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna be in the game for a while, so it's nice to spread it around. Mr. Pike, you took fuel into your care. All right, so we got a uh, fuel here. Okay, can't bust those open. Let's gotta see if they will little note or something. Let's, uh, alright. back. I wonder if there's any items. Let's see if we can find some items on the way as well. Well, that house went boom! Mwah! I'm pitch black and covered in soot. Uh, but I'm alive. Oh, you're Pitch Black too, Mr. Pike. Thank you, Mr. Pitch Black Pike. Thank you so, so, so much, Mr. Pitch Black Pike. Oh, yeah. We need to let my dad know I'm okay. He's probably worried sick about me somewhere. You 
win. Sneak attack. Starting to suck up on bread. And I like this kid, he gives me stuff. This kid's healing me uh, dur uh, during the fight, so that's always good. See if there's any items. Okay, so I think that's where we came in at. through the big fire. Yeah, so you won't get through the big fire. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. It's gone. Well, except for the face. Oh no, does this mean we're blackface? Well, that ceramic doesn't look right. Time for that, what is? Hey, uh, don't know who you are, Mr. Pitch Black Guy, but thanks a million for saving the fuel. Wow, you're really pitch black. Oh, hey, fuel, Pike. You're pitch black and covered in soot, but you're all right. If you're looking for lighter, Thomas took him to the prayer sanctuary. But wow, you're really pitch black. Oh, this injury? Actually, about that. Yes, this injury. 
Abby here was attacked by some bizarre flying mouse thing with bug wings. It just went jump and bit uh bit her on the head. That makes sense? If it didn't, I can explain it to you again. It made sense to me. That was very easy to understand. I did my part to save fuel, saving the planet a little at a time. Music change. Alright, so we're back at the sanctuary. to you. You're pitch black and covered in soot. What about you, Dad? You busted your leg. Oh, this? It ain't nothing. All I gotta do is twist like so, and then do this, and oh, oh, oh. Come on, sorry it. Boss! What in the world are you doing? Fixing my injuries, obviously. What does it look like? Anyways, we sure are lucky Pike showed up when he did. Yeah, he and Lighter have always been quarreling buddies since they were kids. It's enough to make me jealous. Thanks, Pike. Guess I showed my not-so-tough side, huh? I owe you one for today. I think that could be the first time I've ever heard the boss thank anyone. Ah, you're right. Uh, the only thing that could uh, make this any stranger is if it suddenly started pouring rain. You the rain. And now it's starting to rain. Let's hope this rain puts out the fire. We need to uh, tend to lighter. Let's head back to the village for now. Pike, you're all patched up now. It's a good thing you and Fuel only suffered light injuries. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Having some fun with a little Mother 3. Hope you're doing well. It's been a while since Tesmele last had rain. Please get some nice rest. Okay. Helping others out, being helped by others. Well, how do you like it, Pike? When are ballin' and the others coming back? With the forest like it is now, won't the way back be dangerous? So my dad wasn't hurt as bad as we thought. Mr. Pike, thank you so much. Alright, let's get out of there. Let's 
Present. Antidote. Sweet. Don't forget to use the bathroom before hitting the hay. Oh, and be sure to brush your teeth too. Say frog. Yeah, sure, why not? Hey there, Pike. Sorry I wasn't much help earlier, you slacker. But if something ever happens again, I promise I'll help out. Yeah, right. You must be tired. You should get some rest. The room on the farther end is unoccupied. My husband's such a wimp. He was a nervous wreck during the fire. I was worried about him, uh, more worried about him than the fire. Uh, you're actually in the game. You are my rotten brother. Pike! Perfect timing. I heard you were taking a rest here. Mighty heavy rain, isn't it? I think I'll join you under the awning. Pike, tell me. Have you seen Ballin and the kids? Nope. I see. Actually, I was up in the mountains earlier picking mushrooms. While I was up there, I caught a sight of Ballin. Then, while I was taking a break by the river, I heard loud roars far off in the distance. It sounded like it might have been a drago that was roaring. After that, I heard what I think might have been screams. Uh-oh. Say, Pike, Ball and the kids made it back home, right? Um, I don't know. Alright, first play. Uh, I want to, there's something on the crossroads I think I need to do real quick here. Mushrooms. Ballin gave these Tesmilia Gerberas to the builders as a gift. We actually... Oh, we're actually not in the... Oh, never mind. We're not in the crossroads yet. I want to get to the crossroads. Hike! You should probably head back home and check on things. Ah, oh, they won't let me leave. How dare they? Yeah. Okay, so they won't let it leave. Okay, all right, I'll I'll check this out later. Let me check. Let me check the weapon shop. See if they'll let me buy any weapons. Right. Uh, so we got a couple things here. How about the bazaar? Is that open? Nope. All right, they won't let me touch that. All right. Okay, so I can't do this stuff yet. Alright, so we'll just head back. To, uh, we'll go to sleep then. Um, it's right here. Yeah. Okay, let me head back in here. Uh, so where is your name and all this? Uh, I am the main character, but I am um, I'm with uh, I'm with Mama Ballin. It's too dangerous for the uh, the kids to be out, so we had to send uh, the Papa. All right, I think you said my room is the first one. Actually, no, not the first one. Is it the second one? 
This is my room. Uh, I think. Was it the third one? It's the third one. Okay. Uh, you can take a nap on this bed. Take a quick rest. Sure. Vitalized. Okay, I think I'm supposed to head go home and check on the uh, ball and the kids. Okay, so I think we gotta head out of here. So I think we're gonna head south. Okay, uh, we are. Yeah, our house is to the south. Okay, so we gotta head home. Hey boy, want to join me? You still slacking off? <laughs> you slacker. Go back to sleep. It's a letter from Ballin! Uh, she wrote me a letter. Dear Pike, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Kyle is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Flapper is still a bit coddled, but neither one seems to be tired playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I have forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You are always covered in the smell of sheep back home and has really village, so I really wish you could be here to take in the air. Next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Kyle, Flapper, and I were always uh, thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite pasta right away. With love, your dearest ballin'. You're the sheep man. <laughs> oh, they're not still back. With all this rain, they uh, they could catch a cold. I'll go find them. They're probably taking shelter from the rain somewhere.
It's getting late, so we should all go uh, look for them. Let's get the other villagers to help, too. Alright, we gotta go find Mama. Okay, I'll go tell my dad then. Okay. I don't think there's anything here. Just see if there's any hidden items or something. Nope. Okay. I think that's all clear. Okay, so let's head out. Woof! Woof! Please take me with you. I'm sure I'll be helpful. About time you're coming along. Alright, wake up guy, we're going. Guy has joined the party! Woof, woof. Yay, a guy dog joined the party. Alright. Alright, so let me look at the map. Oh the right oh it's the R button, okay. Keep hitting the L. Okay, so uh so there's the goal. We gotta get way back up there, really. Alright. Uh oh. I hear mama. I'm a mom! You are! You're the bestest mom I know. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Alright, let me head back, let me head back up here. We're gonna head for the village and I'm gonna check out the village here for a bit. Okay. Um let's see, so back in the this part of the village. Alright, let me stop it here. I'm good, can't okay, no worries. Uh but I'll be here for my fire. Okay, cool. Glad you can at least stop by for a couple of minutes. Cheers to this raid for putting out the fire. Tessie and my husband headed into the forest just now. I wanted to go too, but I can't leave this place unattended, so I'm sorry. This is bad! Real bad! Ballin' and the kids aren't back yet! Uh oh, what you doing ballin'? You take a side trip to Vegas. Bad luck day for fishing. Racked right away. <laughs> you tested negative. Oh, that's cool. So it's just regular sickness. Oh, I remember there's something over here. It's like a lighthouse or something. Pike, open the present. Thunder bomb. Sweet. Mm 
Uh, he's already feeling back to normal. That's good. That kid kicks colds faster than anyone I know, right? Pass that, you need to pass that along to everybody. Stray dog. Hi, I'm a stray dog. Okay. Alright, well, let's head back. Something up there. Hey, it's Bob Ross. <laughs> Looks like him. Looks like everyone went to the prayer sanctuary. I really want to help you out. Honest. I'm totally just the guy to help you out. And he runs. <laughs> Where are you going, Bob? Get back here. I'm going to help. All right. Hey, President. I just love fighting presents. Edible mushrooms. Ooh, I got me a shroom. Present. Nut bread. Got a nut. Okay. All right, so we gotta go back here. We just went through this area. All right, well, here's the prayer sanctuary. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, there you are, Pike. I asked everyone to split up and search the forest for a bowling. You've been blessed with kind friends. That must be true happiness in one sense. You're five minutes. All right, no problem. Take care, Bob. Thanks for stopping by. It's always good to see you. All right, so nothing in there. Let me save here, though. Let's go, uh, let's go search, uh, let's go search for ballin'. Brrr, that's cold rain. I don't like it. It doesn't seem like it's ever gonna stop. Ballin, promise you teach me how to make delicious pasta. Yeah, Ballin, show us that secret recipe. Okay, let's put the bat here. Batman! Ooh, what is a uh, sniff? Just, just bite him. Nice. 20 XP points. What are my next level ups gonna be? Uh, 36 points. Cool. Okay, so we're not too far from a level up. Hey, Baja. Bowen was here. She was here. She, yeah, I could stay long. How are you doing, Baja? All right, Mr. Betty, block the way. Eh, I got two hits. I'll take it. Twenty XP. All right, so one more, and I should get a uh, level up. There are a lot of antidotes inside the box. 
Take one? Sure. Never know when you might come in handy. I'm in the middle of slowly but surely devising a plan for finding Bolin. Take a quick trip to the sauna. Ah, uh, what happened to Bolin? Uh, she uh, did not come back after she uh, went home. Yeah, she's uh, she took um, she took her kids, uh, me and Kyle, with her. Uh, basically, they went home when the uh, the fire uh, broke out, and uh, Pike has to, uh, uh, stayed behind to, uh, to take care of the fire, but. She, uh, she apparently never made it back home, so we gotta find out what, what's going on. Alright, we should get a level up on this one. Oh, that, it happens. She finds her way back eventually. She's good with stories. <laughs> All right, level up. Double digits. Ooh. Smash. Get the heck out of here. Hey, level up guy. Yeah, imagine all the fire should be out now. You encountered a bay. Oh, he's baked now. Got a little power to him. Forty two XP points. Fallen seems to have a good head on her shoulder. She does. <laughs> uh, Pike and Guy are taking care of business. You are. Uh, not you, though. You're pretty careless, so I bet you forgot to bring antidotes with you into the forest. Despite the fact that this place is teeming with mighty mighty snakes everywhere. Here, you can have one of mine. <coughs> if you don't think that's enough, you can always get some more at Isaac's house. Yeah, good enough. We got, we got plenty. Uh, Crypt of the Naked. Yeah, definitely. I can definitely see that. All right, speaking of the snakes, here we go. Oh, there's the poison. Answered up, all right, cool. Oh, it's nice when uh, they poison me, but leave the uh, antidote behind. Wait, am I, uh, am I okay or am I poisoned? No, I am poisoned, okay. Anybody, yep. Alright, so, right, so we're gonna have to go north. So I don't need to go left just yet. Kind of looks a little bit like the Infected Gadget. 
I didn't realize it before because the flames were so intense at the time. But it looks like this area over here got hit really bad by the fire too. Don't worry, Pike. With all these people looking, I'm sure we'll find them soon. Let's have faith. Keep searching. Alright, more snakes. It had to be some snakes. Double snakes. I'm gonna try... I think you can hit multiple enemies if you do a swing. So we're gonna try a swing attack. Nice, two hits. Alright, one's gone. Two hits. Alright. You win! 56 points. Level up, guy! What's a nut do? Uh, a nut you can use to bar to us. You probably want to hold on to that. Alright, two antidotes left. Let me use one now. Sneak attack, nice. You snuck up on a bait, you monster. Hey, bait, yam. Yeah, baby. What's a baked yam do for you? Uh, 40 HP. Alright, cool. I'll take it. Ah, he's caught me. <laughs> Trying to sneak up on him. About to get a level up, or a pike is at least. Uh, and then guy is third away. He's not too far away from one. Try to clear these guys out. Okay, trying to get all, trying to get all the XP here we can. Pike. HP went up some more. Okay, pretty standard. Let me uh, let me give you some uh, doggy treats. Uh, come on, nut bread. Several nut breads. Right. I'll just give you a nut bread. Try to walk around them. <laughs> Luckily, that was the final blow, and uh, it's got the. If you haven't played Earthbound, it has the same function, uh, where it has a uh, rolling, um, rolling hit meter. 
So if you can end the fight uh, before the uh, uh, before the thing rolls down, it'll stop the damage. So if you take a big hit on the last one, you can just uh, spam through the buttons and get to the end, stop the uh, stop the damage, and kind of cut down on it. That's good. Okay, another big GM, nice. Because they can poison you, I'm not gonna worry about them right now. It's not really necessary. Watch your step! It's easy to lose your footing and slip around here. Okay, so we're pretty much there. You did it, did you? The mouse did it. Squeak, squeak, squeak. The house I was secretly living in burned down. Guess I have no choice but to hit the road. Down, uh, we'll go ahead and take that other fork, I guess. Sneak attack, nice.
Hey, level up guy. They get caught up with me now. <laughs> you want to eat the baked your monsters with butter. Alright, HP up 5. Ooh, offense up 2. A fire. Then rain. Then children smiles. It will be alright. Reggie knows it. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try a power smash here. Give the doggy some treats. Hey, level up, Pike. Nice. Alright, they're almost filled. Where should I get the thick in here? Let me do the nut breads first. I'm gonna try to get rid of those since those are lower. I feel stronger! <laughs> 2 OP. Ooh, try Okay, I thought there was something down here. There had to be something down in this area. Let's hurry and find Ballin so she can make us some of her special pasta! Ah, uh, she's making it for the whole village. It's so famous. The forest still smells burnt. Well, I guess it was a pretty big fire. Fire and all. Antidote. I'll take it. The, the, uh, the Venom. Would you? Nope. Troubles a uh, Kyle's a troublemaker. Uh oh, is that true, Kyle? I think they know you. So I bet he's hiding around here somewhere, watching us wear our heads off. But Flapper's a crybaby, hey. So I bet he's probably in tears by now. You encountered a baked uh, your monster and its cohort. Right, let's go with a swing attack.
Hey, level up. Who's a good doggo? Jerky! Got some protein. Ooh, more presents. Mini, mini charm. Sounds like an accessory. something yeah okay so you can uh, you can take the charm I am NOT a troublemaker okay so that will okay so I'll give you plus two defense that's good wait a minute what wait if you do that that downgrade your offense by ten what uh, no thanks. Oh, because the white collar gives you plus 10 defense uh, by itself and 10 offense. You do the mini mini charm, you only get plus two. So that's a that's a definite downgrade. No thanks. I'm sure Kyle and Flapper will come racing here before long. They have some of those. Uh, slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies of mine. Way to sell them, Mike. Scratch marks in the grass here. Well, that can't be good. It's just a guess, but I'd say a uh, Drago uh, climbed up from here. Yeah. Uh, uh, claw marks. See those claw marks? Exactly. Uh, those most certainly belong to a Drago. But why would a Drago Claw add stuff like this? Even, uh, uh um, enough to, uh, leave gaseous and rock even. They're such peaceful creatures. I get the feeling something very bad is happening to the forest, the people, the animals, and me. Uh, it's like a baby, sort of, yeah, sort of. We saw him earlier, I'll show it to you when we see him. Uh, actually, it looks like someone went and sh snapped these in half, not lightning. But that can't be possible. 
Fallen's father lives right past here, but... Pike, what should we do? Come on, tell us what to do, Pike. I can't believe my eyes. Just look at this, Pike. These huge trees were snapped right in two. How could such big trees get ripped down like this? There's one thing for sure. Whatever did this, it wasn't human. No, it wasn't me. What do we do now? They have the path completely blocked. Actually, Ball and the kids might still be stuck out there because of all these knocked down trees blocking the way. Even if it's not the most direct path, we should look for another way around. It's probably best we split up into a few groups. Hey! Have you found Ball and the kids? Later! Are you sure you're in good enough shape to be out here? I'm always in good shape. Don't treat me like some injured Claude. We'll take care of things here. You uh, push on, uh, go ahead, push on, Pike. There. We can't get through here, so we go back to where we were. All right, so let's go back to where we were. Maybe they'll let us come up now. What you got, doggy? What you got, guy? What is it, guy? What you got? Who's a good boy? Pike! I think guy found something. up there there's a scrap of cloth don't you see it there's a bit of red right over there <laughs> oh. where's that light gazer <laughs> what is it is there something on top of the cliff Old Man West, what are you doing here? Sorry to say it, but there's uh, nothing a rickety old man can do to help us out. Oh, Pike. Don't tell me you tend to climb this cliff. Well, now they mention it. I know how you feel, but scaling this cliff face is just too dangerous. But you know, maybe my son can be of use. I don't know if it'll uh, help any, but let's get him here so he can try. I'll need to borrow a guy for a bit. Guy, bring my son back here. My son's name is, okay. It's gonna be, uh, is this Flint? Or, or Duster, yeah, Duster, okay. Yeah, Flint was the father, okay. Alright, so we got room for another character.
Hey, you go. You uh, you want in? Uh, I can make you duster here. Another of the characters. I think we've got two characters left. So, I mean, there's not too many options left, but. Uh, basically, he's. Uh, let me see what he, Let me see how he's described. Give me a second here. I'll give you a description of the character. Uh, so, we did Flint. Flint was the father. Yeah, that's the father. Uh, Duster. A little eccentric, but a nice guy. He is uh, surprisingly skilled. He's he's gonna have high he's gonna have uh, high HP, high offense, medium defense, medium IQ, and high speed. Uh, Duster is called a thief, but he doesn't actually steal anything. His main job is to sneak into a castle, recover artifacts. Uh, he can utilize a variety of items at a, as his special abilities. Good speed, good offense, but can't use PSI. Uh, give him some of your best food because he often attacks early in the battle and has a decent amount of HP. So basically, he's a he's a he's a brawler. So no magic, but he hit, uh, but he's a uh, high out offense hitter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see, Duster has a number of special abilities. Once in a while, at the beginning of a battle, Duster gets in a swift kick at the enemy before anything else happens. His early attack has the same offensive power as Duster's standard attack, but you can't combo with it. This early attack uh, hits about 10% of the time. Uh, also, if an enemy approaches you from behind, Duster can either sometimes get in a swift kick, like in normal battles, or make the enemy turn around and give you a free round instead. Uh, the kick occurs about 20% of the time, and the free round is about 10% of the time. You do get some special abilities, though, some, some of the free abilities. Yep, yeah, swift kick, yep. Yeah. Okay, alright, we'll put you in here. Sniff of, uh, of this sock. Yeah, that's right. The, don't forget this smell now. Get him, boy. That's right. That's all right. I've tied a yellow ribbon to your collar. Show him the ribbon, and he'll know exactly what's going on. Now fetch. You can count on me. Get him, guy. Uh, I like this cut. This is a cool cutscene. Presents. All right, I think we found du I think we found you, Duster or Eagle in this case. Oh, I see Dragon Eagle. Wake up, Eagle.
Alright, we found him. <laughs> Eagle! The long lads, it's time to put the thief skills you've studied since childhood to the test. Now show us your wall staple technique. Right here, right now. That dog got so rude. I did study that technique, but this is my first time uh, using it for real. I hope it works. How rude. How rude. This area looks scalable here. <laughs> Such a nice and pretty job you did there. Alright, that should do it. Pike! Careful coming up. <laughs> Eagles, the MVP. Thank you, appreciate it, man. <laughs> Looks like the rain stopped. What a coincidence. I have a slight handicap, but I'll do my best. Ah, you're fine. Please take me with you. Eagle has officially joined the party. It's the same color as Ballin's dress. I can't be good. No, not Ballin. All right, we got a uh, scrapper for clothing. Here. Okay. Careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Alright, let me look at the map. Uh, Alright, so we're supposed to go to the left, so let me go to the cave here first. It uh, sounds like the same music as uh, Mr. Saturn. <laughs> Alright, what do we got in here? Nut bread! And... Alright, we gotta fight him. <laughs> you encountered the mischievous mole! We gotta get you some levels. Alright. all the food. Eagle got some beef jerky! Can't go that way. 
Hey, Pike! Someone here! What are those? Are they human? What are they doing? A reconstructed caribou. Strong just yet. Let me do. Let me have you dish out some bread here. I can use some of that. Okay, cool. Two hits there. Nice. Company uh, earn 112 XP. Hey, lucky 13, Pike. <laughs> Eagle, level 9. Guy, level 12.
Alright, what do we got here? An incredibly suspicious object. It's anyone's guess as to what it is. Lying on the ground is a notebook with a pig nose like mark on the cover. Give it a read? Sure. All the creatures around here suck. We need to make them cooler. So the thing will be tougher, rougher, badder. We'll mix and match this and that to create whole new things no one's ever seen before. I dub it the Fascinating Chimera Project. Let's uh, reconstruct and modify stuff slowly and steadily. Okay. Got their notebook. Chirp, 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 chirp. Allow me to explain skills to you. Uh, you and your party members have special skills you can use during battle. damage all enemies power smash uh, mash with brute force misses often strengthen up boost your offense toughen up boost your defense wall staples will use in battle to briefly pin down an enemy and sniff reveals enemy information and weakness okay cliff here has crumbled. Doesn't look like there's any way to get across. How about some staples or something? We fly across. done with uh, with Pike and Boney uh, guy here. So we may need to swap some stuff out. Alright, Eagle's fine. I can get a bunch of stuff to Eagle. Yeah, so Eagle might be leaving. 
Uh, taking a hiatus or something here soon. Oh, Pikey Nagel, glad you're alright. We cleared those big trees out of the way, so everyone can head on up. Okay, cool. I guess so the trees are gone. Pike! We found the kids! It seems they fell into the river and washed up here. I'll look at the guy. You just hurry and see him. Come on, guy. Aww, oh, this is where he bid bye bye to poor guy. Wallen is a wonderful person, so I'm sure God will look out for her. Tessie's tending to the kids now. Hurry up and go see them. Pike! We found the children! And the kids. We did it! We did it, Pike! With everyone working together, there's nothing we can't do. Oh yeah, now you say that. I'm sure Balin is taking shelter from the rain somewhere. The forest would never do anything to hurt the people of Tesmili Village. If anyone ever dares hurt Balin, I'll kick their butts. Even if it's a pill bug or an ant. No mercy, basically. This way, this way! Alright, uh, give me a second because I gotta take care of something in here. So let me, uh, let me be right back and then I gotta fix something here.
Hey guys, alright. Hopefully that takes care of it. Okay. Alright. Dad! Hey, we found Kyle. I made some uh, in a tea pike. Please have some. It'll warm you up. Uh, there's a fl there's a fly in here that's been really bugging me. Um, that was one of the bigger ones, so I was trying to see what I can do to get rid of it. I don't know if I got rid of them, but I might have scared them off. I'm not sure. So I might pause again if he returns or something. Uh, was on the uh, the eShop on the Switch. Saw a Nino Kuni for sale. For 12 bucks. Ah, oh, nice. Pretty good price. Alright, uh, please have some. It'll warm you up. Oh, I, just saw, I just saw the bug. Everyone else should take a break and get warm too. Okay. I wonder where Kyle and Flapper. Uh, uh, flapper fell into the river. In any case, I'm just glad they're okay. I wonder what uh, they'll get to eat when their mom gets back. I hope she comes back soon. I guess they still haven't found Ballin. Where the heck could she be? We haven't found Ballin yet, but for now, you should warm yourself up by the fire. If you keep this up, you'll, uh, you'll wind up worse off than her. Thank goodness they're okay. What a relief. Dad. Alright, let's go by the forest fire here. Pike! Pike, I'm not sure what to say. Just stay calm and hear me out. Flapper is a whale. Fire no good for him. All right. I've got good news and I've got bad news. What do you want to hear first? No. Let me start with the good news. I picked up a giant a drago fang. Uh, it'll make for a great weapon. I figured you could probably use it. As for the bad news. Bad news is... It's where I found the drago fang. It was... In your... It... Oh! Ouch. It was pierced through your wife's heart. Dang. That guy dark fast, yep.
Pike. Just try to stay calm. I think the only reason Kyle and Flapper are safe and sound now is because Ball risked her life to protect them. Yep. I mean, if you get a giant, uh, giant stake through the heart, you're not gonna survive that. Stay away from me. Don't touch me. Pike. Pike. I'm not sure what to say. Please try to put yourself together. Oh, whack. Pike! What are you doing? Cow and Flapper are watching. Going heavy on the physical abuse. Gotta whack him out. Now in loving memory. <laughs> Chilled your eyes, right? And that, guys, is reason number one why this game will never get localized. It's going to be kind of hard to kind of, uh, it's kind of hard to censor that part out. You can't really censor that. So I don't know how they would, uh, how they would, uh, introduce that. Alright, no one's ever been thrown into Tess Millie's jail before. You have the honor of being the first. Pike, you gave Ollie and Abbott a real wa a wall walloping, but they're all right now. About Ballin, I can only offer my deepest condolences. Still, why would a Drago attack someone? They're such friendly creatures. Take it easy in here for a while. I know you must be having a hard time with this, but try and get some sleep. The Drago Fang that was stuck in Balin's chest. I'll hold on to it for you. When you get out of here, come drop by my house and get it. Don't forget now. The lock is rusted. This appears to have been unused for a long time. Alright, so we gotta find a way out of here. There 
we go. Dad, it's me, Kyle. I told Flapper to come too, but he's been crying at mom's grave all this time. Dad, I'm gonna leave this apple here. The core might be hard, but the core. The core might be hard to eat, but be sure you uh, be sure you eat it. I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna get so strong even Dragos won't stand a chance against me. Dad, I. Uh, no, don't eat it. Unless you get strength from it. Let me see. Uh, I guess you gotta eat the apple. Okay. Pike got the apple. I like the sound effects <gasps> and that uh, the visual cue from him. Inside the apple, there was a hand file. Uh, no cake, we're gonna put him in an apple, huh? Pike got the hand file. Uh, use the hand file to break the lock? Sure. Dun, dun. And we're free. The hand fob became unusable. <laughs> well, it served its purpose. Kyle's a good egg for breaking his dad out of jail. Yeah, I'm sure that's how the law sees it. Pike. I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to Bond was a tr terrible tragedy. I know, um, I can't say I know how, you, how you're feeling. Ballin's burial ended without incident. Flapper has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know anytime. Sheriff not wanted. After all, there's no crime. Except for now. Okay, okay so we are back down here. Alright, so we're back in the village. What are we, sea otters? Sorry, we're just practicing our comedy routine. What are we, a freak show? Seems better than, what are we, sea otters? Or no, maybe it doesn't. What are we, sea otters? Has more edge to it.
Edible mushroom. Ah, I can't carry more stuff. Ah, rip. Yeah, it's just me. No shrooms for me. I'm Nana. I like the ocean. I like your style. What had uh, first appeared to be a fishing rod actually turned out to be a gymnastics baton. Okay. Can't use it, but all right. Millie doll isn't finished yet. All right, nothing in there. All right, guys, so there's really not much over here, other than that uh, present for the mushroom, which I can't really take it right now anyway. Okay, so we'll get out of here. Nut bread. Too crazy. Okay. All right. Well, it's day. It's at least daytime, so I can hit the shops up now. It's a flea charm. It'll protect you if you equip it. Uh, so that would be for Guy if I still had him. Uh, that's a running bomb. And there's an edible mushroom. Graveyard, uh, a very nice grave old uh, nipple light made. But I had to come back home. Seeing Flapper stop and face was just too much for me to handle. Mr. Pike, what's wrong? Why the long face? Come stop by our place. We're baking uh, nut bread. I think this is where he bartered the nuts.
not much there. Probably get the uh, the lightning bomb again. Yeah, I should probably pick that up. This house is actually probably open as well. Yeah, these are probably open. I'm Scamp. Something's not right happening to this village. I can feel it. But well, that's just me talking to myself. Oh, Pike, good of you to come. You weren't the one uh, who taught my cute little Myrna all those unsavory words, were you? I'm not stuffed. I'm alive. I'm a plenty alive, Dagnabbit. some cheese. Alright, we gotta clear some stuff out of here. Alright, let me check my uh, list here. I don't need much in the antidote department. We got two antidotes. Trade those in. Bait jam, bait jam. Beef jerky. I have a lot of these. Between the bait jam, uh, four bait jams. Beef jerky. I, I'm gonna get rid of the nut bread here and the mushroom, I think. Let 
see what the cheese does. Uh, cheese that you either love or hate. HP restores varied from person to person. Oh, Pike. It's surely hard to bear when younger ones pass away at first. Oh, yes, Pike. This is a useful item, uh, this is a useful item used in the thief arts. Take it with you. Oh, you can't hold any more stuff. Alright. What do we got? How many antidotes? Two antidotes? Let me get rid of one of them. Thunder bomb. Okay. One up here is Vamos. Yep. So you can get two Thunder Bombs actually. Switch in a desktop. Okay, no problem. Alright. Uh, let's go back here. Alright, I think we hit all the sh any places here. So there's no. Uh, during that wild outburst of yours. I know you had your reasons, but it's wrong to act out your aggressions on others. Shove it. <laughs> okay, so we're in the crossroads now. If you're looking for the villagers, almost everyone is at the Sunset Cer Cemetery. Everyone loves balling. Oh, uh, here's another nut. That'd be another nut. And I need to get more party members. I need you to take my stuff. Cemetery was to the north. Yeah. No zombies allowed. Yeah. Okay, so that's to the north. Mr. Pike, this was such a tr terrible tragedy. Words fail on me. I've uh, humbly prepared a grave of the finest quality for you. Your wife's resting in it now. But when the time comes, you'll be able to rest uh, right beside her. It's a top-notch grave, it is. grave is unusually wobbly. Let's break it down. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Thought you could push it or something. It seems Kyle was the first person at Ballin's grave this morning. When I called out to him as he was leaving, he gave a, a tiny little smile. Then suddenly dashed off. time no see. It's me. I haven't been to the village in a while, but I rushed uh, straight here after I heard about Balin. Just after I had such a wonderful time with my grandkids. Sorry. Say, come to think of it, where's Kyle? Is he not with you? He said he was going to see you, but then he never came back. Lepper, do you know where Kyle went? No. Flapper! It's not good to keep secrets from people. Don't tell me Kyle went after that detestable Drago to try to... No, 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 no! He didn't take Dad's homemade knife and go into the mountains to kill the Drago? Oops. Ah! It's a good thing you raise him to be honest, Pike. I'm a tattletale. Does Kyle honestly think a homemade knife can kill a Drago? Flapper, why did you stop him? Well... I said I wanted to go too, but he said no because he was going alone. So you just let him go? You fool! Think about it. Oh, oh yeah, I did do the, I did do the command. Okay, it's a you fool. You fool! <laughs> there you go. You all got it. <laughs> Thank you. You fool! Gotta remember my own commands. Uh, maybe that's a little too harsh of me. Pike. Sounds like Kyle is headed into the mountains to kill the Drago that killed his mom. We're in a race against time, but this can't be any ordinary Drago we're dealing with here. We're gonna need the proper equipment first. Get a weapon to fight Dragos with, and then hurry to my place. Come uh, get me at my house after you've gotten yourself a weapon. You remember where I live? If you don't, then have old maps and mark it on your map for you. I think he's in the town square. Life of Pike. 
mother of the twins, Kyle and Flapper, daughter of Alec. May the beautiful ball and rest in I uh, rest in peace for here for all time. Mom's not gonna be happy. Alright, so let me go, uh, we gotta get some weapons now. Um, it's locked! No! See if I can see if we can get something, uh, a weapon from the village or something. Just take this and go. It's the Drago Fang. I made it into a weapon. The only thing that can pierce the tough hide of a Drago is a Drago's Fang. There's no other weapon that can beat a Drago. Ah, I'm a tourist foe. Uh, Alright, time to dump something else. Um, you know what? I don't think the nuts can actually be as useful as I thought, so I'm gonna. Take that bomb. This was the flea charm.
Not map. Where's Mapson at? He said they said he was in the square. So this would be the square. Is maps in here? Yep, maps it. Okay. Uh, if you need something from the map loving uh, map owning maps in, must be a map. Okay. okay, so that's Alex's house. So that's been marked. Wow, way up there. Jeez. Way to be out of the uh, out of the way, man. <laughs> All right, all right. We got a bit of a drive if we're gonna get to uh, Alex's house. Okay, I think. Okay, I think I can. Now that we've done this, we can go back. I think we can go back. Check some stuff out over here. My dad's been down to the dumps ever since all that stuff happened. Yeah, I'm trying to find lighter. Uh, think you can go say hi to him? Where's he at? Alright, he's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, no, it's not. Those are the kids. Where's lighter? Is he up here? Oh, there's lighter. Okay. Uh, I never thought I'd see you lose it like that. But if you start acting like that, what will happen to the two kiddos who rely on you? You know what's best. It's tough being a man. No doubt Kyle is intent on avenging Ballin. You better go after him, and fast. I'll let you borrow this. Well, come on now. Your inventory is full of all kinds of junk. Alright, hold on. Uh, we got that one, two, four baked ham still. It is clean. Hey, you never know in this day, in this day and age. Okay, uh, bandana. So that's gonna replace the hat or another. No, I don't think it's another. Got to replace the hat. So the hat is plus three defense. Yeah. Um, you lose a little off. Um, 
You lose a little defense, but you get some offense back. So you're gonna get plus two. Yeah, so it's plus two, basic. Two in each direction, basically. Eh, why not? Let's go for it. Let's go for a heavy offense. <laughs> So I won't need that hat then, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump that hat because it's taking up to a spot. Looking at the map, we gotta go way up there. All right, so we gotta go left. We gotta go through the forest and all that. Encountered a praying mantis. Nice. Oh, that was an easy fight. <laughs> Two XP. They're like, it's not even worth it. All right, don't even worry about the praying mantis. Not worth my time. got some value to it. This one actually, I like that they uh, allow you to throw something else away that's in your inventory. 
Not like in the other games uh, that I've been playing lately, where if you don't if you don't want to take the item, you have to throw it away. This this one lets you uh, swap it out for something different. Good as beef jerky. Oh, yeah. It's like I'm plenty of health though. Health it really isn't an issue. Alright. Uh, so we're gonna want to go through the mountains and all that. So we gotta go left. PK Thunder! PK Fire! Uh, you... Uh, I'll double check. I thought it was more of a, just an item. I think it was more of a key item. I'll double check it. Can't equip it. Uh, it's right here. Uh, the relic of a horrible accident, sharp fang. It's just a fang. I think that'll come into play when I uh, meet the Drago. So for now, I'm just fighting enemies off with a stick. Good XP. Okay, uh, let's go. Let me just play it safe. Let me take the ham. It's worth 40. I'll free up a new spot as well. Oh, that music! I was gonna eat that big tame anyway, so. 
Thanks for that, uh, drop your heal. Alright, I'm off. Another ham. Might as well eat it. Try to stay ahead of the curve here. Spud bug in its cohorts. Flapper, Kyle admits he attacked me when I tried to fish. <laughs> All right, let's go here. Um, let me go. We're gonna do a swing attack. Don't life up. Get out of here. <laughs> Seventy two XP, I'll take that. <laughs> Hey frog. Sure, why not? Okay. Oh, you can actually. He's not too hard of a one to get a sneak attack on. If I let him run past me, I can hit him from behind. An agitated boar. Let me try... I'm gonna try a power smash once. It misses a lot, so it's... Smash! Nice! Beef jerky! to have another 24 hour you never know might be a little hard with uh, with my work schedule now though Uh, pretty much 
kill me almost a little bit of away. Yeah. Hey, Drakey. Twenty-four hours of Club Titty Boo. At least when we get to Club Titty Boo, right? Beef jerky. Speaking of beef jerky. <laughs> Needs to be here for a club too, but yeah, we'll try to. I'll try to see if I can give her some advance notice or something. President, I'm with the president. Oh, new weapon. Aquarius bracelet. Alright. It's a bracelet. So I won't actually need the Aries bracelet, and then I'm gonna get an Aquarius so I can dump this one. gave me like a, a, a bonus to defense and over the other bracelet. Okay. See what this one is. A crag lizard. Oh boy. Be careful this guy. here. Let's be tough enough. See what he can do. XP Okay. Let's see what's to the left. We're gonna go to the right, but let me see what's to the left here. Could be some treasure or something down there. Uh, not 
bread, I don't care. More rocks. Uh, ahead, our Gila Pass. I know how you feel, but stay away. There are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them, so please don't continue in that direction. Alright, so they're not gonna let you go through that. So I gotta, let me go back around. Hey, you know what, let's fight. Is there a way to get a run behind you or something? Probably not. What?! That was no back attack. I call hacks. Let's do this just in case we top it up. Genie Pike. Squeak! Not wasting food is a commendable thing, but that does make things a little harder for me. Alright, nothing in the trash can. Alright, just go in the house. Oh, you made it! Traveling through the forest has become quite dangerous indeed. What were those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with bug wings? It seems one bit me right on the head too. I've healed up perfectly though. No, 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 none of that matters. I know where Kyle might have gone. According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Let's head there now. Alec joins the party. Or at least I can use him to store some stuff. Over here. Oh. <laughs> hey, Bab, welcome back. When I said froggy intelligence just now, you thought, what, didn't you? Frogs work for my friend as messengers. My friend is able to talk with frogs, lizards, and what have you. 
See that lizard there, for instance? Uh, we just need to go in the direction it tells us. It literally has an arrow! Pike! Uh, you have doubts about this friend of mine, don't you? My friend, no friends, are known as Magypsies! They've lived isolated away from civilization for a long, very, very long time. I am a lizard. I will show you which way direction you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you will know. Down. to go this way. I think we just he, he stays in the same direction. Pike, I see you're not uh, you're not walking as fast now. It seems the word with gypsies has made you curious. Um, I'll have to get a hold of this game after I beat Mother 2 Deluxe. Ah, right, go for it. It's a fun game. Like I said, it's definitely one of my favorites. So you're gonna have a lot of fun, I think. The Magypsies have mysterious powers and have been protecting something here for a very long time. They're neither human nor beast, neither man nor woman. I have absolutely no idea how old they are. I think they're about a thousand, they're a thousand years old or something. That explanation didn't explain much, did it? Basically, they're strange. Uh, let's see here. All of them. Every one of them. That's just how they are. They are good natured though. Just in case, you never know. Wrong. I am the wrong frog. Oh, well, I remember. I love these frogs. <laughs> right. Right, right. The right frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Thank you. 
Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> chirp, chirp. Advice. You know how enemies sometimes leave nice items behind after you fight them? Yeah, exactly. If your inventory is full when you find an item, you'll have to either give it up or throw uh, another item away. Which is why it's a good ad. Uh, keep, uh, always eat any food you have as, long, uh, as you go along. Doing this will keep your inventory from getting full. Derp derp. Speaking of that, what are we doing on items? Another spot. Looks like there might be two spots down there. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, I think there's uh, two spots open. Sure. and the hot spring made everyone in Pike's party feel alive again. Alright. Okay, so we go through there. Let me see if there's any items around the side or something. Okay, so there's a cave door. And there's this. Oh, okay. Okay, I think this is where one of the Magypsies is. Yep, there's the Magypsies. This is another reason why the game probably won't get uh, localized. <laughs> Visitors, magnificent! You simply must have some of this cake. It's scrumptious. I came from a cold place. Is that Alec? It is! It is! Good to see you, Snookums. My, my, who are these two? Don't be rude, Ionia. Introduce us. Of course, where are my manners? This is my good friend, Alec. And who's this with you? Pike, you say? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Now, let's get you properly introduced to us, the Magypsies. You're in luck. We're having a party today. Nearly all of us are here. First, we have a Aeolia. Then there's Doria, uh, Phrygia, Lydia, and that one over there is a mix of Lydia. Uh, the only one not here is a Locria. You can call me Ionia. Hmm, can't remember all that? Of course not, that's why I introduced you, darling. Isn't that how it works? Alright, Ellie Kipu. It's been a while, glad to see you're well. I hope you, uh, I hear you help my grandson, Kyle. Do you know where he might have went? Oh, you mean that rambunctious little squirt from a little while ago? I suppose this, uh, Pike fellow is his father. Hmm. 
Yes, I see the resemblance now. You have the same eyes. So, what about Kyle? Where is he? Oh, he took off? He was in a great hurry, mentioning something about avenging his mother. I was feeling generous at the time. So I sent him on his way with a super powerful PSI technique. I doubt he'll be able to use it very easily though. So he left then? And you didn't stop him. What if something happens to him? Oh, get over yourselves. We couldn't care less about you humans. Here one minute and gone the next. You poor things barely lived a hundred years, if that. That's a blink of an eye to us with gypsies. Why would anyone bother to care about such short lives? Now, now. Mixa, mixa, uh, mixolydia, phrygia. Humans, uh, worry about such short lives. Isn't that right, Ali Kipu? I understand how you feel. I really do. I don't care if you understand or not. Just tell us where Kyle went. The boy headed for a Drago Plateau. Quite rambunctious, I might add. Barely seemed concerned about his own short little life. If you go now, you might just catch him in time. Drago Plateau, you say? Pike, let's hurry there. So Drago Plateau is through the cave behind the house. Kyle probably went through the cave too. Nothing to worry about. But you're not going to get very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is smile. Understand? Yep. Okay. But you still need. Uh, you still seem pretty tense if you ask me. It's a party. Sure. Pike got some fresh milk. Wow, you're good at that. And fresh milk. Ooh, nice. Restores 80 HP. Can I get another one or is that my max? It's not good to over milk things. Oh well, you only get one at a time. It's pitch dark in here, but never fear. I've been through here many a time. Leave it to me. But more importantly, that super serious look on your face will only bring us trouble. You gotta relax. Understand? Alright. Keep going west at this fork in the road. Okay. Go north. Stop. 
There should be a hole around here. Find it and jump right down into it. Alright. There it is. Pipe. Follow the southeast passage. Oh, Pikey Poo! That was my Majipsy impression. Did you like it? Relax, relax. I'll tell you this one early in advance. Head south at the next fork in the path. Head west from here. But I see treasure on the right. Uh, it's another running bomb, alright. Is that you? This kid knows me. No tooting in here. <laughs> Alright, we got some enemies. Mischievous Mole. Hold on a sec. I've been so forgetful lately. Which way was it again? Was it north? Pretty sure there's a vine to the north. We need, uh, we need to vine and climb, we need to vine it. We need to vine it and climb up it. Oh God. Zia would hate that pun. Pike, you're allowed to laugh at that pun just now. Did you notice it? I said we have to vine the vine. <laughs> eh, she's probably busy. You know, instead of find. Was that not funny? Dead end. Sorry, Pike. Looks like we should have gone west of that last fork in the path. There it is. Oops. Uh, north here. Head north. Hi, Key Pie. Don't be embarrassed. good as there uh, now that we've made it this far uh, now we just need to head upward and climb up some vines 
divines go up because they're divine. Okay, that what I like. Oh, come on, it's just a pun. Trying to look around, see if there's anything else here. Fast. <laughs> Saw that smash and I was worried. You try the cheese. Pike loves cheese. Fifty or sixty HP in the cheese. No, that in there. Okay, let's go with the uh, vine. Anything uh, past the rock here? Nope. Um, let's see, should I fight? Yeah, let me fight him. I could use the X, uh, the XP off of these guys. Yeah, 
More hits, there you go. Where's the, uh... Where's the subsequent hits were a lot more effective. I was only getting like five points off of the, uh, the follow-throughs. Say frog. Hey Star, how you doing? Localize the game! <laughs> how are you doing today? Traitors behind. Some strange stuff I've never seen before is lying here. In a few seconds, the instant revitalizing device fully revitalizes you. Absolutely. Free heals. <laughs> uh, sup, dude. Been uh, checking out Pudge's channel. Awesome. How's, how's Pudge doing? See, uh, is he doing something tonight? <laughs> okay. I think that's all that's here is basically just the uh, revitalizing machine. Okay. Came up there. And then. Alright, let's basically come out this side. Alright. Alright, let's head out here. Where are you going? Oh, uh, absolutely. I know he's a cool dude. Uh, I've rated him. I've uh, been over his channel many times. Alright, uh, we got like a scorpion. Alright, let's take care of the scorpion. Uh, a titany. Don't hypnotize me. Get out of there. <laughs> uh, I ran a bomb. Um, I think I've got enough, so I don't think I need that. Actually, um, actually no, I think there's, I think there's some cookies or something I can get rid of. Let me see, let me look at my list. Um, I got what, two antidotes? I can probably get rid of one if I have, yeah, I got two antidotes, I probably don't need two antidotes now. Oh, let me get rid of the milk, yeah, the milk is garbage. So they can go up here first. I know we got the uh, the Drago fight soon. Let's take out. Hi, here, Baba. Hey, 
Alright, bye, bye. Nah, just some milk. <laughs> One letter off. How are you doing? A bald and eagle suddenly attacked. Getting ready for work, I'm assuming. You might be at work, I'm. Don't grin at me. Bad bad flapper killed Ballin. I didn't kill her. Blame the Drago. Beef jerky. Beef jerky's an upgrade, so let's get rid of the nut bread. <laughs> Fresh lumber? That sounds important. Okay, let me get rid of, uh, probably get rid of the antidote. Let me give that. Okay. Yo, Alec, take some of my stuff. Fresh wood for you. Oh, nice weapon. Awesome. All right. I definitely want that wood. Time to get rid of the stick. It's been a nice run. Speed actually goes down. You get a little slower with it. Definitely worth it though. So I can uh, dump the uh, dump the stick. <laughs> Did you hear, Bob Eva? He killed Ballin, so according to Baja, he did get rid of the mill. I mean, what? <laughs> All right, let's let's test it out with this uh, scorpion. some PSI at some point. <laughs> Got a couple of these. Alright, so the whole thing's gonna be to the north. Treasure over here. Right, let's see what this treasure is. Probably food. And that's how Ness got in this mash. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's more food. Okay, beef jerky. Let me 
Let's see. And we're out of spots. Okay, I think we're pretty much down to all the good items left now. What do we got? Three beef jerkies. Four. Four jerkies. A baked yam. Five beef jerkies. Yeah, so five jerkies. Five jerkies and a ham. So six overall healing items. Alright. Say frog. Baby Drago. This is one of Kyle's favorite shoes. This belongs to Kyle. And that was a Baby Drago just now. Kyle must be around here somewhere. Got a child shoe. Nut bread. I don't care about that. So I do need. Actually, I'll do this. So I can heal up. Let me just take it. Let me. Uh, actually, let me take the yam. Let me take the the big yam. Hey, Drago's gonna eat Kyle. Let's not hurry. What's the rush? Okay. Take that and then I can uh, store this. Okay. You encountered a tree. Who would have thought I would run into one of those? No, not a tree. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny? I actually managed to beat this while um, uh, game in Japan, uh, Japanese, because I didn't know how to pass the game. Uh, okay, didn't know how to patch it, and got desperate to play the game. <laughs> I was in middle school. I hear you. What a tree at. Oh, yeah, we had some, uh, you weren't here for some of the, um, we had some puns, uh, that, uh, Zio definitely would not have been, uh, would have quit over. A 
And I'll put them in chat so you can see them. And I think one was, um... I have to do anything now. Hey, here we go. Let's take care of the tree first. Super trees. <laughs> Jerky. Chirp chirp. Up ahead is Drago territory. Please be careful if you're heading further in. Now to end this with a sparrow like a chirp chirp chirp. <laughs> it's Kyle's other shoe. Oh no, he's shoeless. Kyle, we're here to rescue you. Where are you? Dun, dun, dun. What is that? That's not a Drago anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, welcome back, Pike. All right, no worries. We're about to fight the uh, the Drago now. Good boy, good boy. Who's a good boy? Oh man, that uh, that picture, man. He looks fierce. The Mecha Drago suddenly attacked. All right, well the first thing we gotta do. We need to use the Drago Fang. Description here. Okay. 
Okay, it pierced the Mecha Drago's tough hide. The the Mecha Drago let out a howl. Uh, Pike's the offense decreased, but oh, but he's not doing much anyway. Oh, but I uh, never Pike. That's Pike. Oof, I gotta charge up. And the missing thing is Valiant, pretty much. You know, that well, upper left area, right? All right? So I need to get my offense back, or I'm not gonna do much uh, work here. All right. All right, so strength up. Okay, back up by 12 minutes. Back, puts me back at normal. heal up here. Play a little safe here. here. Okay. Oh yeah, he does die. He is his final shot. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Stop that rolling clock, man. <laughs> Alright. Pretty much used all my items, but we got through it. Uh, Pike earns 486 XP. Uh, will you play Oddity uh, live when it releases? I'm not even familiar what Oddity is. Level 
Pike, don't do it. That won't solve anything. He wants a little revenge, uh, to get revenge for, uh, for balling. Uh, you only make it shout go through what Kyle Flapper had to. Not worth it, man. It's the rebrand of the Mother 4 fan game. Uh, we'll see. I don't really do the, the ROM games too much, but I'll, I'll consider it. Okay, that's the end of the chapter. Uh, it is possible that until now, the people of uh, Tasmili Village had never known sadness. On sunny days and on cloudy days, they always greeted each other with smiles. They lived in harmony with the creatures of the forest. The strong would help the weak, and those who had, and those who had would share with those who had not. However, right now it appears the villagers have learned all too much about sadness. Suddenly, everything is changing for the worse. When did this change begin? Where did it begin? What set it in motion, and why? Almost as if toys. The peaceful animals are being transformed into strange, ferocious creatures that attack people. Some people, like Pike, have even had their families torn apart. Just what is this suspicious group that wears pig masks? And what are these eerie objects that soar through the once beautiful skies? And where could the missing Kyle be? The mysteries continue to pile up. And so the, first, uh, the tale first begins as a tragedy. Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record everything? Yes, please. Alright, that's the end of chapter one. I think there's like, what, five chapters? Something like that. Oh, it's not. So it's 10 o'clock. Time went pretty fast. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll get started. We'll probably won't go too far with chapter two. Yep, chapter one done. I think there's, how many chapters are there? Chapter one, two, three, four. Uh, no, actually, no, there's a lot more. There's, there's eight chapters, okay. So we got eight chapters in the game. I know it's gonna be a long game, but. All right, but one eighth of the game done. And we actually got a little time to spare. Pike! I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to Balin was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Balin's burial ended without incident. Flapper has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know anytime. Thanks. 
Chapter 2 Thief Adventure! Alright, this one's gonna be all about Eagle. He is the thief, right? <laughs> Eagle, we gotta talk. I speak to you not as my son, but as my pupil. Listen, the time has come. No, this is not something we have been looking forward to. I had hoped the time wouldn't come, if at all possible. But, you and I have been constantly preparing for this day, in the event it did come. So it appears you finally have a chance to try out what I taught you. The enemy's form is still unknown, but we must now change the way we live. Are you prepared? Sure. Eagle, I am now going to give you a mission. You will sneak into the uh, As Asohi castle. There you will find a certain important item. Bring it back here. As for what this certain important item is, no, there's no need for me to tell you. So secretive. If a thief can't determine the value of what he steals, he's a disgrace to the profession. Still, would you like to know a little about it? Sure. It's a very important looking item. It's like all shiny. Yeah, that's it. I'll say no more. In the basement, you will find items I've prepared for you. The seven mystical thief tools. No, wait. Were there seven? Well, whatever. Take them with you. Uh, you think it's pronounced Osa, oh, so, uh, the castle? It might be, I don't know. It's translation issues. You never know. Alright, let's go check out the basement. Ooh, treasure! What's he got on him anyway? Uh, you got shoes, the bracelet, and the mini charm. Alright, All right, so you got plenty of space. A hypno pendulum! Tickle stick! A scary mask. Or at least that's what's written here. So it's probably best to not touch it. A siren beetle. Interesting items. Smoke bomb. Oh, I took it anyway. Stop and cover its ears. Smoke bomb. Hypno pendulum. Put it to sleep. Scary mask. Lowers its offense. Tickle stick. Lowers its defense. In the back. Oh, oh, okay. I see the chest. Okay. What was that? 
And I was kind of like, a, I was probably like right up here right in the middle, wasn't I? Okay, I see. That's it. Okay, I gotcha. Okay. I want to make sure I didn't do something wrong or something. It's all these are probably the same way. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get these later, I believe. Okay. Hidden inside the castle is a treasure with the power to change the fate of the world. Back when the the king of us, you're saying that you're thinking it was Oso. It could be Oso, Oso, Oso. I don't know. I'll call it Oso. Uh, still lives in the castle. Yes, I believe that's what it was. Anyway, back then I hid this treasure where no one would ever lay uh, lay eyes upon it. I felt it was uh, too, uh, too much for even the king of Asoe to handle, or so I recall anyway. But the as of yet unknown enemy may be trying to acquire it. Under normal, normal circumstances, this would be a job that calls for me, but... Eagle, I feel confident that I've hammered every technique I know into you. So try to accomplish this mission for yourself. Understand? When you go outside, check behind the house. I've hidden another mystical thief to a tool-like item there. Why did I hide them all separately like that? It's funsies. That's what I'd like to know. I refill the, uh, the box every once in a while when I feel so inclined. So keep that in mind. Oh, yeah. I already know about that. <laughs> The, the thunder bomb. Yeah. Thunder bomb. Yeah, I already know about that. Uh, have I been found? Uh, technically. Uh, go to disc. You may want to go to Discord. I posted a picture on Discord. I did. I'm sorry. Yeah, apparently you got a uh, you got a Drago Fang uh, through the chest. These things happen. Ball and used to it. I mean, she does live with a Baja after all. Speaking of Baja, hey man. Things happen. <laughs> Run! That's shut down too. Alright. Yep, oh, can't go that way. Oh, pardon me. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Dave killed me on the organ trail, so. 
You don't have a you don't have a good uh, story left in video games, is what you're saying. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry. If you excuse us, come now, little monkey. We should be off. Uh, the cute monkey. We'll be seeing you tomorrow. We'll be seeing you later. here. If you promise not to tell anyone, I'll let you in on a cool secret. Check out this bag. I was holding it for a friend. What do you think's inside? Money. There's money inside. Ever heard of money? What? You don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really all that sure either. After all, we've never had it in a Tesmili before. But apparently an error of money is about to start. Huh? What's an error of money? Huh? Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he uh, took a real liking to my pigs. Then he asked me uh, in tears if I'd trade them for this. It did seem pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. Anyways, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm gonna hide it in this uh, well here. Eagle, secrets between you and me. Shh, it's our secret. Obtained 50,000 DP of money. But you put it back. Aww. Does he have a conscience? Take it back. He goes like, I don't want your handouts. Okay, let me find... Trying to find that map soon. It's usually right on... Yeah, he was right on that bench before. Go to uh, let me go to the end. Maybe there's something in here. Oh, hello there, Eagle. We don't see you here too often. You know that visitor with the monkey? He's a generous guy. He treated me to some bourbon. This one's for him. Cheers, Clink. You know that monkey with the. Uh, you know that monkey the guest in the middle room brought with him? He's so cute. He his cries are a little sad though. I just can't sit here in bed and let people dote over me. I gotta start thinking about how I'm gonna rebuild my house now. Now that their house is gone, we're in a real bind too. Uh, we used to live there and mooch off of them, you see? But this place is nice and comfy too. Plus, Tessie is here. I wish I could have seen your wall staple technique, Eagle. That, and I wish I could have been useful somehow. All 
Alright, our boss acts like everything will be fine, but I think it's gonna be pretty tough. After all, there are four of us and only one bed. I don't wanna know what that situation's gonna be like. Okay, let's go to the middle room. Can I not go in there? Locked! Open up! Alright, nothing in here. Uh, they say that on uh, Tana Tain Island, uh, across the sea is a world of dreams and nightmares. But they also say that nobody knows the real truth about it. So how do I know about it? Let me grab that. Uh, grab that box down here. Eagle! I tried, but I can't get to sleep. <laughs> My flapper show on the television is stuck. Better adjust the rabbit ears. No! Up there, I think that's it. 
Yeah, there's Mapson. Uh, if you need something from the map loving and map owning, Mapson must be a map. Ah, oh, you want to go to Soviet Castle? In that case, I'll mark it on the map for you. All right, it's on the map. Uh, there are rumors of an underground passage that lead into the castle. I bet a nipple like the gravekeeper knows something about it. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go to the graveyard here in a second. <laughs> I found Flapper! Zombies are allowed in here now. <laughs> oh, eagle! G -g 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 -g. I'm uh, live. Pucker up. for three days and three nights and still have leftovers. All right, you got this, right, man? The zombie man and his cohorts. What do you got for attacks? Oh, that's right, you can do all these now. Okay, so the key items uh, turn into special abilities. Staple. Put an enemy down. Cause an enemy to stop and cover its ears. So sleep. Pendulum for sleep. Tears. That one was not bad. And then offensive defense. Let me try a smoke bomb. Oh, I gotta pick one. I'll just pick the. I'll pick the one in the back here. Didn't work. Oh, well, there goes that plan. Ah, <laughs> uh, the zombie lady used a biting attack. Alright. Miss. Alright. Kick! My attack's a kick. See the the four wasn't even on the screen. Okay. 
You win! 100 XP, Eagle. You survived the zombie apocalypse. Alright. Gonna need some heals, though. I have a lot of heals. Uh, what do I got? A couple of nut breads that I found along the way. <laughs> Let me take one nut bread at least for now. Alright, where's the grave keeper? There he is. Oh, it's old man Wes's son. What's his name? You sure love to uh, walk around at night, don't you? Okay. Let me go back. Let's go visit uh, Balwan's grave. Oh, that's the cat. Oh, they turned that into the castle. This is where the grave was. Yeah. Auntie, Auntie, and Aunt Aunt. That voice is mine. Which, uh, watch where you're stepping, will ya? I'm like standing here. I'm an ant. Don't you dare step on me. Extra control and Eagles care. Oh, well, thank you. I know, I'm sorry, Eagle. So they put a castle on top of my grave. Cool. Something like that. <laughs> right. That's what the phone's for, right? Flights are about rhythm. You know, like boom, 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 and stuff. When you're in battle, there's a very specific rhythm that matches the enemy's beat. Pick up on that rhythm and victory will be yours. Uh, if you're really good, you can pull off a 16 hit combo. So far, I've only hit the floor combo uh, in the stream so far. I hereby name these sound battles. Thanked you very much. Much. Uh, who was my birthday? Uh, just think of Mario. Uh oh. Evil doggo. But I still remember when Flapper got me that Starbucks gift for her birthday. You're welcome. Okay, right, let's, uh, let's try the doggo. I might be able to get a sneak attack on him. Let's try this. Just play it safe. Let me try... Let me try a pendulum here.
Alright, he's just sleeping now. Let's make it better. Level 10 though, that help. HP by 7, I needed that. Present. Nut bread. We'll take that, we'll probably use that right away. I don't even want to mess with the graves right now. Beefy jerky! Nice. Hey, we got some cheese. Alright, cool. Got some better items now. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to remember. Uh, apparently, though, I share my birthday with a celebrity who starred in Venom. Nice. Let me do a save here. Okay. We're gonna probably end here in just a little bit. Um, I'm just kind of looking to see what's at, what this area's like. Gotta save something for the 24 hour stream, right? All right, let me try to, let me try to head back to the, uh, and head back to the village. Yeah, way I can rest up and uh, stay, stay in the end. Alright, do I have a do I have a bed? my bed yes thank you all right there you go <laughs> that works <laughs> uh it's been a great shame oh well thank you for uh, coming by i do appreciate you coming out checking it out pike <laughs> but by now no I, w I won't have a long stream I don't really have there. I don't really have a chance to do it because uh, my schedule wouldn't work out that way anyway. The only time I probably would be able to do a long stream would be like on a Sunday or something. That would literally be the only day I would even be uh, have a chance. Well, we actually did a uh, super long. This is the game that uh, that I that I did my record on. No, not Sunday. Okay, then uh, the answer is no. Then, like I said, Sunday would literally be the only uh, available day for a long for a longer stream if I ever wanted to do that. But no, I wouldn't do that because I'd be super tired. Plus, I'd have work in the, on the next day, so it wouldn't work out very well. But no, we did a, uh, our longer stream was about 21 and a half hours. Uh, that was our longer stream uh, for this game. All right, let me head back up here. Let's just take it, we'll take a couple fights. Save you real quick. I'll probably just uh, walk around the graveyard for just a little bit here. So I think we can get I think we can get to the castle quickly. Might be able to get to the castle or something. And then we'll probably end there or something. I think if I go back. Let me go back into the uh 
grand yard, right there in our house. We got it. There's a under, underground passage we're supposed to find, so we can come in here. Yeah, so yeah, move this out of the way. It looks like. Uh, I have no idea how you can stream like it basically turned into um well we were we were trying to finish up the game we were at the we we're at the end well what I thought was the other last I thought it was the last area uh, so I it started off being like a like an eight hour stream which was my normal um then I'm like well let me just go for another hour or so we're almost there so let me just uh, play, play for another hour or two. Uh, and then uh, it just kept turning into, let me play for another hour. Well, we're almost there. Let me play for another hour. Another hour or two. Um, and so we just kept going and I was like, well, by the time, uh, by the time it ended, we ended up being 21 hours. A detached leech snuck up from behind. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Kind of hoping they drop some uh, heal items on the way. Uh, edible mushroom. All right, let's sort something. Got to try to stock up with some uh, items here. Anybody, uh, anybody want some, uh, some, is that crap? With legs? <laughs> well. A spineless lobster. It's a lobster, okay. <laughs> Dang it! Stupid octopus! Okay. Uh, another bomb. All right. Ah! Oh. I swear I can get behind him. All right. Let me try this. Uh, let me try a pendulum. Sleep now. Okay. I guess so you can hear the beat a bit more. Uh, so it looks like you can hear it more when you when you put them to sleep. So that's gonna help me. Are you serious? That's not good. To take that trim now. <laughs> We're not doing too hot right now. Alright, 
sneak attack on the lobster. I knew they were gonna jump in there. to the castle. Um, yeah, that's the head. I already know about the sneak attacks and that. Yeah, just sneak attacks. Let's see if I can find a, uh, can I find a frog around here? Alright, talk to you. Oh, it's old man Wes's son. What's his name? You made it through that underground passage without being done in by all the monsters? That's really something. I want inside the castle, do ya? Pray that's not gonna happen. Gate's locked and won't budge at all. Only way inside is to climb up the walls. Well, if you insist. Over here. Go, Eagle. Here, the enemy's hardly able to put it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, frog. Okay, there we go. Okay. So here's the frog. Oh, okay, we'll save here. Wait, did he see he's a ghost frog? I read that right. Oh, not okay, not a ghost frog, okay. 
It's like I'm seeing things. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and save it there, guys. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, so, we'll end, uh, so we'll start on uh, Thursday. We'll pick up right here. We'll start in the castle. And then uh, see if we can find our uh, special shiny. <laughs> Treat over. Yeah, it's over. I'm sorry, Ballin. <laughs> yeah, I got work tomorrow. I want to uh, get ready and... Basically, get ready. All right, but yeah, we'll be back Thursday. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see who's streaming, and we'll see if we can do a raid here, though. I do appreciate you guys coming out today. I really do. Like I said, it's a really fun game. So I hope you guys are enjoying the game. Definitely one of my favorites. So hope you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> Thursday, 24 hour stream, no. <laughs> All right, let me see who's on. Somebody doing a retro, uh, retro game. Actually, we could do. Is he still on? Let me see. We haven't actually rated uh, him in a really long time. I know there's better ways to do yeah. That. Okay, let's do that. Uh, let's go visit. Um, we haven't been there in a long time. Uh, let's actually visit uh, Bald Gamer, guys. Uh, he's currently playing through uh, Metroid: uh, Samus Returns. Uh, on the uh, 3DS, so let's head over there. We head over there for a bit. <laughs> All right, so let me grab a link and let's go. Let's go pay a bald gamer visit. Yeah, it is to me. The remake of a retro game. <laughs> Plus, I wanna I wanna try to rate somebody different. All right, guys. So give me a second. Let me uh, let me bring his chat up, and we'll head over there. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. So there's a link to the channel, guys. So let's go pay. Uh, let's pay a visit over to Ball Gamer. And let's go ahead and uh, wish him luck as he uh, plays through uh, Samus Returns for the first time. Alright, but I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, so yeah, so I'll be back on uh, Thursday as we uh, continue uh, through Mother 3. And we'll uh, pick up right here. Alright, but until next time guys, take care. Hope you guys have a great night. And hopefully I'll see you guys here on uh, Thursday for the next stream. Alright, take care guys. Have a great night. Night guys.